<laughs> this is the first first video I'm making on our two-day hunt. I'm uh, up here with a friend named Rob Mason up north Florida and uh, Jimmy Crossbones. We're out in the lake hunting here and uh, been digging a lot of targets and uh, finally got one. <laughs> I know I haven't pulled it out of there yet, but I wanted to get the film going. Look in there. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll let you take it out uh, so I can take a video. Of it. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'd say that would be gold, wouldn't you? Yeah, I see the hallmark in it. Huh? I see the hallmark right oh, there. Oh, baby. Can you pull it? You think you can pull it up? Uh, I'm going to turn my machine off so I can hear. Oh, man, that was sweet. I told you to get pop tops. <laughs> Look at that. I'd like see what rings up on the ETH. Oh, baby, yeah. That's a nice bright yellow. Well, anyway, <laughs> our friend Rob went back to, to book us a room for the night because we're going to make this a two-day hunt. But, oh, yeah, I got oh, a silver yeah. dime a little earlier, and uh, now I popped this. So I this has made my trip. What are you getting on that? Jim's getting a reading with the CTX. 40. Huh? 40. 40? Yeah. Oh. I mean, that was one of the numbers anyway. That's pretty heavy. All right. Well, I will check out the hallmarks and do it in the wrap-up anyway. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I love it. Okay, it's Friday morning. We had a wonderful day uh, yesterday, which we only hunted the second half of the day, but Mike got uh, a mercury dime and a 52 Washington quarters, a couple of silvers, uh, some other odds and ends. Jim ended up with a nice silver ring. And then I got that, that gold ring turned out to be 18 karat gold, so I'm very thrilled with that. And then I got a silver dime, I think it was a 48. So we're getting all the gear ready. Mike's loading up his kayak. And uh, we've got the full day today, or however long we want. So we're getting ready to hit it again. Hoping for some other great finds, so stay tuned. Hey, we're finished up with our hunt. And the first thing I want to do is thank Rob up in Gainesville for inviting me and Jim up. We had a great time, hunted for a day and a half, just a beautiful lake. I uh, did not get a wrap-up of us together, but I just had the guy send me some pictures. Uh, I did get Rob's picture out on site with his finds. And actually, you hear my phone, they're coming in right now. So we're putting, I'm putting this video together. I'm going to do a video wrap-up of mine and then some still shots of theirs. Um, you can see all the assorted stuff. Um, first thing, I dug, uh, I think it's 148 pop tops. And there's fields of them out there, but I just kept going through them, and it paid off in the end. But first, uh, real quickly, this is the clad and the coins. I uh, won't count them all, but you can see there's quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. Did get one silver, 1948 Rosie. And uh, don't come by 39s nickels very often, but there's one. I got one weedy. I think it's uh, 54. I uh, got some really cool. These are old. They've got to be 60 because they're real heavy brass rims. Those are heavy. And uh, looks like John Lennon may have wore those. That's his style. Of course, a fishing lure, got a key, got a bunch of weights. This looks like a top to a lipstick tube and a few bullets. Got a little uh, costume jewelry ring in there. And then my reward for digging all of these right here. This was mixed in the bunch, same tone, using my Fisher CZ21. And boy, that thing came out beautiful, as you saw in the video. Turned out to be an 18 karat gold. Got a bunch of hallmarks. I'm pretty sure it's from England. And I'm in the England club over there, so I'm going to get some help maybe identifying it, because I think those will tell me the year, the uh, the maker, and there's one of them beautiful squares in there that says 18, so I like that. Okay, so that's the wrap-up of my stuff, and to follow this will be some still shots of, of the other Rob and of Jim's. But thanks for watching. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs>